Hello. Hello. It's us. The Broadways are away again. Not too far away. No, uh, less, right. less than an hour from home. We are in Bodium in Sussex. Yeah, uh, Sandhurst in an Airbnb. As a little a mini break because life has been crazy. So we're in a, a place in Sandhurst called the Bakehouse. It is beautiful. It's really, really nice. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to do a room tour any second now. Yep. Um, but we're here for three nights. Yep. So we are going to chill a lot. But we are going to go to the Ashford Outlets, um, yeah. do a bit of shopping because they're not that far. And then we're also going to go to... Bodium Castle. Which is over there. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a pathway through the forest. So we can... Uh, so we're going to brave it. Have a walk. If it doesn't rain too much, it's supposed yes. to rain tomorrow. It might be a bit of a bog. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go barefoot then, shall we? Mm. Mm, squelch, squelch. Mm. Yeah, so this cost... Uh, £100 a night, and you'll see in a minute how much of a bargain that is. And how much they've provided for us. Yeah. Because I get people who run Airbnbs don't have to give you the extra bits and pieces, but they've gone above and beyond. Yeah, it took about 50 minutes to get here. From from home, which is Eastbourne. Yeah. We do a quick haul of what we bought as well. <laughs> I'll show you that as we, do, yeah. as we do the tour. Anyway, let's get on with it. So here we are, the bakehouse. Someone's... Uh, cutting their grass up there as you probably hear so there's another holiday let here and this is ours the bake house mrs b has entered the property the p -p property come hither all right let's let the camera adjust and spin around there we go so you enter into the kitchen modern bright clean yeah. lovely but the first room is the bathroom so you say modern and bright we have oak, saying, oak beams. I'm saying bright as in the units. Yeah. Um, but the first room is the bathroom. Yeah. So I'll let Pete go in because it's, it's tight, but it's, it, there's enough room, but not when you've got a camera. Right, let's do this side first. Let me zoom back out a bit, a tiny bit. So we have a sink, we have a towel, a bin, lovely heated towel rail there, and a mirror. Hello. Some hand wash, commode. Blind with the theme in. It's sheep. You'll find there's a lot of sheep. A lot, a lot of sheep going. Yes. On. There's even some sheep out the back. Yes. Hopefully a they're a making actual sheep. Soon, I want to see if Big Kev's around. There's Big Kev up there. We've met this lady so far. Yes, Doris. We've met Doris. I'll, I'll do a close up in a minute. But a lovely shower. And some shower gel as well. Yep. It's really nice. Just a normal shower, but that's all you need, isn't it? Really? Yeah. It's quite. How many are you get in there? Four? four. Yeah, I was going to say four people. Yeah. Party for four. Nice uh, dark marble. Yep. Walls. Let's come out into the kitchen area. So it's a fully functioning kitchen. All everything that you want is in here. There's utensils. Yeah. We've got. Um, everything that you could possibly need yeah we won't bore you with that i'm sure you know no. what goes in the kitchen um glasses got lots and... of glasses the sheet theme is carried on very cutely yes with the mugs and the sheet. A teapot tea cozy <laughs> so this was provided for us they very kindly left us some g and t's two g and t's which is very nice this has all been provided for us as well nespresso um coffee coffee and tea and whatnot some tea. Breakfast tea. I bought some tea bags just in case. This is all our yeah. rubbish that we bought. So, am I going through all of this? No, just general stuff. Well, just well, breakfast. Lots of pastries. Okay. Chocolate, sweets. sweets. Yeah. Lots of just stuff to keep us going. Yeah. Finest, finest rubbish food. Yes. And um, they've also left us. Some crisps and some biscoff. Very nice. And some jam. Some jam, and they have provided in the fridge. This is where the fridge is. This is not all of this, this is ours. <laughs> We've, we're going to take half of this home, I would add. Yeah. They've left one milk for us, some coffee for the cafetiere, and. In there, there's some croissants. There's two Waitrose croissants. So. That's nice of them, isn't it? Very, very sweet, with all the instructions on how to cook them. 
And all this uh, garbage is from Asda, where we got a meal deal. <laughs> yes, the two pizzas, the dip and the dough balls was a tenner. Tenner, yeah. We thought that was quite good. Yeah. So then we come through into the main body. There's more sheep. Oh, there's a bottle opener there. Didn't see that there. Kitchen paper. So this is the living and bedroom area. It's absolutely beautiful. Lovely oak beams yeah. up top. Looks like there's spotlights there as well. Yes. I wonder if this light switch here turns them on. No, that's just this dining area. Do you want to start there first? Well, I don't need to go over there. But yeah, yeah, so there's a little cool. table for two with some mats. Nice bit of art. Quite a nice little corner to eat in, that's isn't lovely. it? lovely. Yeah. And I guess you could open these out onto the courtyard. Yeah. And we've come from. There's the front door there. We've got a visitor's book, which we will sign, yes. and then plenty of info of what to do in the local area. There's pamphlets. Restaurant menus, takeout menus, yeah. uh, the things that are all around, because there's lots and lots of um, historical buildings and whatnot. Yeah. We are going there, hopefully. Birdium. Um, nice mirror. And underneath, there's a, a, what they call a wicker basket full of books. There's games. some blankies, games, which is good. A bean bag and a plant. The table. Oh, it's a map. Is wicked. It's a map of East Sussex. Yeah. So we, we're here though, in Eastbourne. We live here. <laughs> yeah, off the map. Off the map. And then we'll have to figure out where we are here, won't we? Yeah. There's Hastings. <laughs> Robert's Bridge, Battle. Anyway. Yeah, we can show you that I'll later. Find but it oh, I'll... there's Bodium. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're, we're around here we're somewhere. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So we've also got TV. TV and then all the info that you could want about the property, yeah. questions, all that sort of thing. Yeah. So, got that. Information well. filter. Some reading materials. So the windows have blinds that obviously come down. For a bit mm -hmm. of nighttime privacy. So we have a nice L shaped sofa. And a an sheep. Another sheep. Bedside sheep. cabinet. It's all about sheep. So it looks like there's an extension block there to plug in your phone. Yeah. yeah. So you can plug in and power your stuff up. Yeah, there's one on the other side as well. There's got USBs. And Lamp. there's a clock here as well. Oh, is there that side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Loving the sheep. Nice big bed. Plenty of drawer space. Yeah. Nice little chair. And a rabbit. That's not a sheep. And oh, so we need the keys. Hang ah. on. Right, so we've unlocked the door. Patio. So this would be nice to see yeah, and so, have, have yeah. a drink later. Nice little table and chairs. So it's absolutely beautiful. And then we've got another one down here. Which you could sit. Yeah, you can see the views, I guess. It's a very, very pretty view. There was a parasol inside, I saw it. Yeah, so as you sit down, you can take in the views. That's a very clever idea. It is. It's lovely. I would say the word I would use for this is utterly charming. Yes. It is, yeah. Charming, oh, there's a barbecue yeah. there if you want it as well. Oh, that's too much effort. Yeah. <laughs> we've got, we've got stick in the oven pizza. That's for the barbecuing people. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the plants are uh, taking over. Oh, lovely. So this is what it looks like from this end. A gin and tonic on the patio later. Yes, I, I would say we could have it's very warm actually. Breakfast on the patio, but yeah. the forecast for tomorrow morning is appalling. So, oh yeah, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> maybe Sunday morning then. So this is our abode for three nights. Three nights. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Good morning. Good morning. 
We had a good sleep. Pretty good sleep. Nice. Really nice Comfy bed. Comfy bed. Yeah, super quiet. We have woken up and it is raining. Mm. It's great. It's still the most beautiful view. But let's go shopping. We didn't We didn't sit here and have no, a... No, it's a bit gloomy and chilly. Look, we might do it. It's supposed to brighten up tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. So, Ashford Outlets, here we come. Yeah. We haven't been there for a while together, have we? No, I last went possibly about 18 months ago with Natasha. Hello, Natasha. <laughs> Headband, ears ever after. I'll leave a link. Mm. Anyway, next time you see us, we should be there. So, catch up soon. Bank holiday crowds at a shopping centre. Mm. We'll see. Hi, everyone. That was, here. that was quite a painless journey. Right through the back roads of Kent. Yeah. But very pretty, even though it's raining. And we have parked up and let's go do some damage. Let's let's mooch around and see what we can see. We've got no actual things that we want. No. But um, I'm sure we could be persuaded. Yeah, what is there? Molten Brown, Hollister. A is there an A&F? An Adidas. An all the usual stuff, basically. Um, what's the chocolate place? Lint. Lint. Let's go. Just walking around. It's quiet actually. <laughs> this is very pleasing, isn't it? Yes. Possibly the rain has put people off. I hope so. I don't like the pipe music though. It's a bit. <laughs> Crooning. Yeah. They're very cute, aren't they? I like the Mickey one. Wedding bags, it's got those ears on it that you don't like though. I can't stand the ears. Yeah, they You're always. It's going to get annoying. And, yeah. And bend Folded backwards. In, yeah. yeah. There's some very eye-catching colours nowadays. M&S Outlet. Christmas has arrived, everyone, in August. Yeah, but I don't know if this is... It's an outlet. I don't know if this is last year's. I don't know. They're trying to get rid of I don't know. I don't know. It looks all rarely new. It's all hot off the sleigh. All your Christmas merch. I like this throw. I think that might be a Macintosh tartan, which is my tartan. Tell me if I'm wrong in comments. Get your gift wrap here. Oh, Christmas Eve box. That's a thing nowadays. Loads of candles. Oh, that's a fluffy throw, look. Spray. Pip's sniffing everything in sight at the moment. I love a smelly thing. If you ever watched our 2020 home vlog from 2021 when we're all stuck inside, it's all I bought. <laughs> and I can't smell anything. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's 15% off everything. Sup. Sup. Paul is still trying to flop the summer dresses. And it's end of August. I had a quite, yeah. quite a lot, but it's all in the extreme sizes, so... Yeah, we had a look. You Nothing really fancy. You couldn't find anything in your sizes. And... Horrible music playing in there as well. <laughs> so, so we're going hit, to head to Adidas, as they say in the USA. Well, because you're wearing it right Adidas now. Adidas if you're a normal person. You're wearing it right now. Adidas and Adidas Originals. Originals are better. What ifs? Straight away. Oh, I love it, Ness. Look at that colour. Silvery blue. Love it. In here. 45 quid. Oh, God, I like that. A couple of things in there I've got my eye on. Uh oh. Haven't committed yet, so. We need to gather all information yeah. first. Before we go. I nearly said balls deep. <laughs> going in Nike? Nike, rather? No, I don't like Nike. Nike? It's Nike. Nike. You don't say bikey, do you? It's, like, it's, it's Nike. It's a Greek word. That's why. Don't argue with the Greek teacher. Well, the Greeks got it wrong. It gets very uh, possessive over a Greek stuff. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> because who was Nike? God of no. athletics. 
goddess of victory. Yeah, would be a woman, exactly. It? I said, that's what I said, wasn't it? So I got that spot on. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I see molten brown. I think we're going to go in molten brown. From what I remember, it's very small. Yes. Very small. It's quite compact. Yeah. Nice smells though. Here you see Pippa in her natural habitat of smelly shop. It's very colourful in here, I like it. Four times travel for £22. Save 26 so that's pretty much half price. Pretty good. It's quite a good offer. Great quality, isn't it? Yeah, travel size. Whacking great one. What's that, 28 quid? You could divide that up into Christmas presents. Yeah, you could. The rain's really set in now. You can probably see. Thankfully, we're all in the drive for a few hours. Stop A and F. Let's see if I can get some uh, joggers. joggers that I've always wanted. Oh, it's had a redo. It's really dark last time. Yeah. Get your prom dress here. <laughs> they look like curtains. Well, A and F. Disappointing. Well, I saw a T-shirt that was twenty-two pounds. 30% off. So I probably went on Vinted and found basically an identical t-shirt, new, for five Fiverr, pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so I may well buy that instead. Don't know where we're going to next. Just a bit of light rain or drizzle today. Look at it flowing off the tent. <laughs> Thankfully we're undercover. Yeah, anyone need a shower? Get your... Holy crap. So many things, so difficult to shoes. <laughs> oh, does Pippa want the My Little Pony things? <laughs> Heart lights. I heard Sting lights the shop here. Going to the crocodile shop. No. No. Not really. We've decided on Super Dry next. I like Super Dry. Blimey, it's a feast for your eyes in here. Super Dry. Lunch time in Wagamama. My first time. Pip's zillionth time. It's early, we might have to wait. Yeah. Here we are, Wagamama's. We waited what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. And it's already quarter to 12, they opened at 11, but it's yeah. so popular, as I'm sure you all know if you've been to a Wagamama. So we'll next catch up with you when we got some food. Oh, look what's arrived. We've got hoisin duck, bow buns to share. Well, one each. How do we do it without a plate? We can't, we'll have to each go in. All right, go on then, you go first. Good. So Pip's got a green tea. I've got a trusty Diet Coke. And we got a noisy child, as usual. Now, you have the plate. Right, I'm going in. First, first time in Wagamama. Same they put cucumber in it. I love the way you've taken out like two bits of cucumber when it's full. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't really taste it. You can't really, can you? It's lovely, isn't it? Very fluffy bun. Ooh, uh, fluffy buns. 
Yep, that's a good start. Cool, looking at it. Absolutely delicious. One of your favourites, aren't it? I'm very basic in my wagon moment. It's got to be the katsu curry. It's pretty much your favourite curry of all time, isn't it? I think so. This is a new one on the menu. It's a Thai beef salad. It's very nice. I need to get um, a knife and fork because I'm a heathen. They're there. Oh. <laughs> but there's no knives. Oh, okay. Probably don't need a knife in it. Oh, here we go. Mm. Lovely. Yep. Nice flavour. Excellent. Oh. I'm going in. Some Adidas stuff. Can't resist. Pips disappeared. Anyway, I'll show you what I bought when we get back. And that's it, we're done. Yep, we were about three hours. Yeah, £2.50 for parking. And Pretty that reasonable. It's the lunch stop that we had. Yeah. We've got a few bits, not a vast amount. Mr. B has bought some clothes. Yeah, I have. When we get back, I'll do a little haul. Well, we both do a haul. Show you what we got. Yeah, I didn't really buy clothes, but it's only just stopped raining as well. Yeah, it's just just slightly drizzly now. Yeah, so we're going to head on back to our B and B now, and we see you there. Here's the sheep's. Oh. Hello, sheep. Have they, have they got food? No. Yeah. It's empty in there. Mm. Uh, they've been hiding from the rain as well, like we have. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's Doris. Is that Doris? Yeah, I think so. I love the way we're all being stared at. Yeah. Hey girls and boys. Living their best life. <laughs> Got a lovely place to live, haven't they? Oh, shake it out. Yeah, that's definitely Doris. That's one big pile of beep. <laughs> oh, no, they've decided to look over there now. Having a stare off. These two. <laughs> what are these crazy people doing? Okay. So, back from uh, Ashford, as well, lovely B&B. &B. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Nice journey there and back. Yeah, very, very painless. uneventful, which is good. Uh, Wagamama's was great, as yeah, always. We enjoyed it, yeah. Well, you enjoyed your first visit. Yeah, it's my first visit. Uh, we had a bit of a wait to get in, but as Pip mentioned to me at the time, it always gets sort of jammed. So popular. And this was at half 11. So it had only been open half an hour and it was full. People were having very early lunch. But the food comes out quickly, so it's quite a quick throughput. So we only, um, we were getting our food about midday, mm. so. So, bao buns, lovely. Very nice. My beef teriyaki salad was lovely. K katsu curry, amazing as always. Mm. I tried a bit, it was really nice. Uh, we didn't have pudding, couldn't push one down. No. Uh, and that was £43.60. Yeah, too bad. I had downloaded the new app, um, so I've got a stamp on my card. Uh, and you can pay there and then at the table on a QR code. Yep. So, pain again, go. very painless. Pretty much everything now, don't QR code, Pango stuff. But uh, we have a, a minor haul. Yeah, should we show you? Just so, first a, off. Not a vast amount. We got some stuff though. I've got a room and pillow mist from the M&S outlet. So that's Neroli, you might not be able to see it, lime and bergamot. Yep. And that was £3.50. I do love a smell. On the smell theme, we went to Malton Brown. Um, orange and bergamot, you can sense the theme here, and um, it's my favourite smell, and it was cheaper to buy four travel size ones yep. of 100ml each, so 400ml, for £22, or you could buy the full size one, which was 300ml, for 22 or £23.50. But the good thing is, they're so, travel size, so we can pop them in if we're going on an airplane or... So this was definitely a better way nice of doing it. Nice and easy. Better, better value for more. Yeah. So that was that. Oh, um, Lint Shop. 
Yeah. Let's go and get some chockies. I got those. This is going to keep us going for ages. Creme brulee, strawberry cheesecake. And then I've got an assortment of the, the Lindor balls that you can't really get no. normally in a supermarket in a box. Yeah. So I think there's popcorn flavour in there, champagne flavour. Oh, there's another one as well. Caramel. Because you can get salted caramel, but you can't get caramel. But anyway, yeah. So. And Pete grabbed these are Christmas presents. They won't watch. People who are getting these won't watch, so. Strawberries strawberry and cream. cream. And a new one we haven't spotted before. Tiramisu. Tiramisu lint. I bet they're nice. I might crack it open myself. Then. The Crusade? I've got this crockery at home. Yeah, we got the um, flint wear, haven't we? Flint. I colour. bought a new, well, a second snack bowl. So we've got one, but I wanted one each. Um, so we've got two of these now. It's yeah. just a small bowl. And at the outlets, that would have been £20 normally. Ouch. But that was 14 I mean, still ouch, but. Yeah. It's, it's the only one they had as well. It's so pretty. It might be dull that we've gone for grey, or I went for grey. Um, yeah. But I figure it goes with anything. Yeah. No matter what house you go to, no matter where you move, it'll go with everything. So that was that. So I run through my bits. And then Pete got a cut. Well, Pete got clothing. I didn't get any clothing. Go. <laughs> and action. So I saw this in Super Joy. Someone who doesn't need clothes. T shirt. It's nice. And it's got the little... I quite liked it. Super... No, hold it up. Uh, oh. Yep. Hold I was trying to show the little logo. There, there we go. I thought... I liked the colours. Purple and orange. I thought it went well. Now, I was determined to get an XL, wasn't I? Because yes. I bought Super Dry before, and I couldn't remember because their sizes are a bit odd. They're a bit odd with you, aren't they, for some reason? So, Mrs B made me go, right, try it on. So, I put the large on first, and it was fine. So, I didn't need the XL. So, well done, Mrs B. Well, girls, no. Don't you, girls? Got to try it on. So, as I said earlier in the vlog, I got tempted by Adidas. So I've got some joggers. Adidas Just joggers. the plain grey with yeah. the stripes. But they're cuffed at the bottom. And the good thing is, they're just waffle. No f fluff. Yeah, fluffy ones can get... joggers without fluffing. Because sometimes... You don't need to be hot all the time. Sometimes it's not always Arctic temperatures, is it? And, yeah, I got tempted by it. He did buy it. Adidas Originals. I just love this colour. It's this sort of like well. petrol blue. I don't know what we call yeah. it. Dark. It's not a. It's not navy. It's not midnight blue. Yeah. So but I yeah. Was saying to Mrs B, I literally bought an outfit. I didn't. I was good. I didn't a buy top, clothes. Bottoms and a jacket. Well, well, you know what that means when we get home. Yeah. So I try them on and show people what I if bought. You really want to? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Well, you know what that means, don't you, when you get home? Oh, is it one in, one out? You know the drill now. I haven't spent all this time on vintage decluttering for you to clutter you it up how, again. You know how difficult that is for me. He's worse than a woman, folks. He really is. I've been very good at decluttering stuff this year. But it's, like, have to. it's like trying to get toys out of a kid's hand. Anybody think I was decluttering the Lego? <laughs> Do I have to, though? Yes. We only have a finite amount of space in the house. The men watching will understand. Will they, though? My pain, my comment, frustration. Comment below, people. Declutter or reclutter? It's a beautiful day compared to yesterday. Isn't it, my love? Just a bit. Morning. Say morning, Mrs. B. Morning, I was avoiding the sheep poo. Yes. We are on a walk to Bodium. Actually, it looks like there's actually tracks where people have walked be, before. Yes. So, this is our surroundings at the moment. We've just passed Doris the sheep, who's... He's up there. There. And we're on our way to Bodium Castle. I'm walking so... through some cobwebs as well, I can see. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs B, you can go through the gate first. Okay. So we decided one day in the the people heavy place that is Ashford Outlets, the next day, absolutely no one walking through fields. I think there'll be people at the castle though. Yeah, but 
This is lovely. It's beautiful. There's a fresh breeze, sun's shining. I'm very glad I'm out of hay fever season. Yes, all is good in the world. Lots of poo on the floor. But it's not our home we're walking through, is no, it? No, rough with the smooth. There's nothing in this field though. Yet, maybe things will yeah. clear at some other time. No cows, because there's no cow pats, thankfully. Anyway, let's uh, take you on our journey to Bodium Castle. I'll let you know how long the walk was. Yeah. So we've just gone through another gate and there's a lovely ooh, pond. Is there ducks? Is there going to be Disney ducks, Mrs B? No, because we're not at Disney. It's going to be silly. <laughs> there's a duck house by the looks of it. There is a little duck house. That's very cute. Well, we're saying it's a duck house. might be a house for somebody else. Yes. Donald. I'm feeling very Jane Austen here. Are you? Just need my bonnet. Can I be your Mr. Darcy? Do you have an estate worth £10,000? £10,000? Oh, no, he's more than that. <laughs> There's a beautiful house there. It's lovely. That's where we've come from, up here. Anyway, on to the next gate. It's a bit slightly damper underfoot here. This is wonderful. Blue sky. Temperature's lovely. Everything about it is just gorgeous. Just make everyone dizzy watching on their TVs there. So despite the hours and hours of rainfall yesterday, it's actually very firm underfoot. And this is the first non-poo field. Yes. No animals have been in here for a while, clearly. No. Yeah, it looks like they're letting it grow, by the looks of it. Always gets very green down ahead. This is our view as we're walking forward. You can hear the wind rustling through the trees. footbridge as in maybe don't spend too long on it no this is solid don't you dare stamp and go through it no they put that there to just in case people don't see it and stop animals getting across i guess let's go through this definitely wouldn't have been right to do yesterday here's another wooden footbridge and that is quite muddy Mrs. B's excited because we've got to go across a stream over the planks. Oh, now I can see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, there appears to be no planks. Oh, dear. We are plankless. I think maybe we can go up a bit higher across. Sure? Yeah. Come this way. Yeah, let's go up here. coming yeah just cross there so the planks we have a tire yeah maybe somebody's moved them We've come a long way oh look there's cows hey cows it's quite a trek then we've got to cross this little bridge now let's do it There's the Kenton Sussex Railway. 
locomotive going through. Let's zoom in a bit more. about 200 pounds to have a roast dinner on there. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing it right now. But that train stops at Bodium, so we can't be too far away. Bye, steam train. So there's the castle. Just homed into view. We've had a sprinkling of rain. Yeah. Literally a couple of drops. There's just a few dark clouds above, that's all. So we estimate it's about 7,000 steps. And it was about an hour. Yeah. There's a medieval thing going on today, by looks of it. Fair event. It's like lots of kids throwing things in anger. They do that at home anyway, don't they? Yeah. Especially tantrums. Anyway, we're nearly here. Hurrah! Podium Castle. Looks like we've got to go around the other side to get in. So should we head round? Yeah. Beautiful though. Like you can get up to the ramparts as well, it's nice. So it's a man made moat, yes. So it was, was well, some up. shade up here. Carry on, it was built in 1385 by Sir Edward Dallingridge, Dallingridge and yeah. his wife Elizabeth. Okay, there we go. So, so. What's in here? Uh, that's the guide room, sir. You can go in. Okay. There's two points of note there. Just the toilet as you go in. Right at the far end there. Um, there's a gun loop to the right. So even if they're sitting on the toilet, they could still defend the castle. Oh, okay. Multitasking. Yes. <laughs> oh, I for my glasses to clear. Oh, yeah. This is the loo, apparently. Scary. Oh, let's go. Entrance to the Northwest Tower. One way system in place. Let's go. And there's bats. Oh, hope we don't come across them. Oh, there's a. Oh, that looks like a cell. Pip's bed for the night there. Lots of arrow slots. And a fireplace. Most of the fireplaces 
or the side of the castle where the lord and the lady slept, servants didn't get any. Oh, well, they don't deserve them. Sorry about the breeze, it's very windy today. beautiful castle this is the living side over this side yeah and the other side battlements servants quarters film they might come on film but i can't see it let's see if i can get any on film shall he spot any Roost of the Natura bats, apparently. See so if you see them. More steps. Yeah. Oh, these are steep. Oh, oh. No. In their long flowing dresses. The next. Wow, these are really steep. You want to go first? You're happy going first? Ow, I'm actually... Um, that was my help, but... So that's, that's where the portcullis was. Still there, bits of it. And a pigeon that's taken nest there. That's where the original beams were for the floors. This is what was the chapel, that must have been the church window. Yes. I'm guessing that'd probably be stained glass. That one before. And then the Lord yeah. and Lady's apartments were here and they, yeah. could, they could see the services with their yeah. own little balcony. Mm. Mind the head. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Don't want to go in there. I don't know if you can see that, this is the Lord's Apartments along here. So it's in ruin because this wall was gone, but... It would have been the length of the castle. Yeah. So guests and visitors staying here. Basement, first floor, second floor. Who was the King? Edward III? I think. Yeah. And this was a Lancastrian castle yes, during, during the Wars, Wars of Roses. Yes, during the Wars of Roses, but they surrendered. Yeah. So the, the castle didn't get um, attacked. Yeah. And then when uh, they lost, they moved back in again. Yeah, <laughs> sensible. It's another store of one, isn't it? Quite close to the boat here. Yes. Oh yeah. Let's go in here, this looks exciting. Wow, that's a big thing. Yeah, this is the southeast tower. All these holes or floors going up. There's a door there that leads to nowhere. And interestingly, come back here. The arms of the original family, original manor owners, when there was a manor on the ground, that is the Sussex. flag of Sussex now. Yeah. It's royal blue with gold martlets. But Sussex is the best county. Of course it is. And if you disagree, you're wrong. East, not west. Absolutely. So we're at the very front here. 
Sorry about the brin breeze. That way to France. You can see through the floor. But that's horrible. Makes me go. Ooh. Beautiful. Big old trout in there. Thinking, ha -ha, no one's fishing in this yeah, so this is the back door then I'm guessing. It's, uh, do you think there was a bridge across there at one point? It looks like it was. Potentially. Because there's uh, stonework at the other end there. But yeah, this is where they introduced trout I think to the plane. There's one. There's another. Yes. Yeah. So we are here. In the kitchens. Oh no, the Great Hall. Oh no, that's the Great Hall there. That's all, yeah. We're in the kitchen. Which doesn't exist, but yeah. It's where they cooked all the food. And I'm fact checking myself. It was built. Cool. It was yeah. built when Richard II was on the throne. Okay. Oh, the third. Yeah. Get it right, Pippa. That's Richard II, not Richard the Lionheart. That was Richard the First. Nerd alert. Actually, look, there's a massive fireplace here. Yeah, so that's... it was definitely the kitchen. Yeah. And the other side as well. This is well. Oh, it's a funny colour. Well, I'm not drinking from it. We're in another tower with a well at the bottom. Wow, look at that. Are you going for a dip? It's a well, not swimming. It's not, it's a medieval hot tub. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't drink it. Spikes on the pool. Elon Musk should do with his millions. Yeah, Re renovate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Boat trip, anyone? Outer welcome tower, by the way. This is where, where the drawbridge originally went through. Are you assuming? I'm assuming. Don't assume anything. Hey, it's the Disney Ducks. They're not Disney Ducks. Dallinger's Ducks. Yeah. Edward Dallinger's Ducks, there you go. Sussex Ducks. Or hey. Ancestors of. This way. Posh Ducks and Posh Fish. Some of the trout have been here for 50 years, apparently. Have they? No wonder they're so big. They probably scared the ducks. <laughs> oh, look at this one coming along here. Dude, he's going for that duck. It's gone. They will hide in the shade, yeah, though, don't they? They've been harmony together. That ain't a trout. Is that a koi carp? I think see? so. It's definitely not a trout. Comment below if you know what that fish is. He's fancy. Oh, where's his mate? There's another one. I'm sure they're koi carp. Please correct me if I'm wrong, viewers. Those, those two are very extra, aren't they? They're in this season's fashion. Yeah. Very demure. <laughs> So that's it from Bodium. We're leaving now. That was lovely. We just jumped over the fence. <laughs> it was busy. It was busy, but I thought it would be busier for a bank holiday weekend. Yeah, wasn't too bad. But it was pleasant. And yeah, lots weather of kids, is... lots of dogs. That Real family day out. People's dogs there. Um, weather's been a bit all over the place. Yeah, to be honest, chilly, but... warm, breezy, but you get what you get in the UK. But it's it's a bank holiday, so you know. Yeah. So we're heading back now. We've got a nice long walk. Well, we've just hit, we're just about to hit 10k steps, so it'll be about 17k by the time we get back. Okay. So, catch up, day. catch up with us when we're back at the Airbnb. We found the world's Land Rover graveyard. 
there's two there. Oh, there's somebody hoards them. Yeah. Stacks up here. There's another couple. A Range Rover. Two Range Rovers. Not very strange. Well, you board Lego. Yeah. This guy hoards Range Rovers. He's got somewhere to put them as well. Oh, that's an old military ambulance, sir. Or well, the shell of it. In fact, two of them. How weird. And a brown recycling bin. That's very random. Ooh, that looks like a little murder cabin there. Look. Around here, there's a load more. Land Rovers, Range Rovers. Are we in hillbilly country? Yeah. <laughs> Run for your lives. Yeah, it's a beautiful little village, this Sandhurst. Lovely houses. Very quiet, very quiet. Quiet. It's got one main road running through it and this is all off of it. Quintessential English village. Yeah, it is. Got the petrol station, got the shop, got the village hall, community centre, old school hall by the which you can hire out. Lovely old building, isn't it? down here I'll show you in a set this phone box it's not quite what it seems so here's the phone box sorry it's still quite breezy today but no it's... it doesn't take you to the Ministry of Magic <laughs> no Potter fans it's actually not a phone box it's a, library. It's a phone book <laughs> it's actually a exchange yeah. for library books isn't that great hang on I'm sure I'm going the door hang yeah. on let me go the other side Go so you go. bring a book? I take a book. I take a book. Or just bring a book, I suppose. What a great idea. That's awesome. And there's loads in there as well. All nice and secure and dry in there. Making use of something that's uh, really, not used anymore. Really good idea. Yeah. So it's a book exchange. We saw a couple of girls cleaning it yesterday as well, didn't we? Yeah, we realised why. But yeah. They're trying to keep it nice and spick and span. Well done, Santa. Good idea. And there's a map. That's the village green in the sunshine with the clock tower. Very back to the future. Lovely white bleach board and tiled roofs. Lovely. It's that time again. Face mask palooza. So Pete's having a revitalising marine algae mask. I'm having a vitamin C for uh revitalizing and enhancing my favorite thing well, we've just done our youtube live so if you yeah. were if you did tune in thank you so much um yeah. sorry about the technical issues at the uh, end uh, yeah the internet just went gotta love the internet buggering about so <laughs> tried to go on the, the old g but we're in the middle yeah, of the countryside we, we tried so. to get it going again but it just didn't want to play so but thank you so much for everyone who joined in yeah. asked a question join the chat it was great fun. We appreciate your bank holiday. You might be yeah. doing something else. So if you, if you joined, then thank you. So, so we might do another right. one in the future. Time for these. Face masks. How do I look? Horrific. Oh, I feel so nice, to be honest. Um, we've had factor 70 on all day because we did yeah. the walk to and from Bodium Castle. So the walk was about an hour. Um, there and back. back. And we were there at the castle for an hour and a half something yeah, like that a couple of hours. so yeah we've been out, out all day in the sun with the block on uh so this is just what the doctor ordered i feel so nice pete's not moaning this time actually about his this heals of eyes <laughs> make sure it's in contact although we've got these flappy bits for eyes so i don't know if you're meant to shut your eyes and then <laughs> flap up I don't know. mine appears to be foaming can you see that it's playing with my flappy bits yeah but yours isn't mine's is mine literally foam mine's foaming yeah, weird. Oh, it is. Oh, it's there. We go. <laughs> Pizza isn't there. We go. 
These were just Primark cheapies. I mean, I think it said on the on the um, the label it was a pound, but I'm not going to lie to you. We got them in the reduced section, so there was something like seventy p. <laughs> yeah. I normally use a Boots Botanics one, but um. Uh, how long do we have to keep this on? For? Oh, usually about ten minutes. But um, normally it's um, yeah, I just use a Boots Botanics one. But we, uh, <sighs> I get these ones because they're funny for the vlogs because you all like to see us looking silly. I literally so. don't look like me. You kind of look like you in yours. Do what? Yeah. You're a bit of a soapy mess it's at the moment. Yeah, it's definitely gone soapy. Weird. I'm glad I didn't have that one. Oh, it feels re it, it feels super nice, though. Good morning. Morning. And we are leaving. <sighs> Where did three nights go? That went yeah. so quick. Uh, thank you for yeah. following along. This, We've enjoyed ourselves. I'm sure Pete will leave the link for this Airbnb yep. in the uh, description. It is super relaxing. It's so nice in here. It's just this lovely, self-contained little sort of mini cottage. Isn't it? It's called the Bake yeah. House, if we didn't um, say that before. Uh, the patio is just beautiful overlooking the countryside. And it's sheltered, so even if it's raining, yeah. you're still dry. Yeah, you can sit out there. Which lovely. And... I had my coffee and my croissant on there this morning. It was lovely. Thank you to Julia Mark, our lovely host. Yeah, and the sheep. Making a welcome. Leaving us some treats and everything. Everything yes. you need is here. That was totally unexpected. And well, there's, there's a Morrison's and... There's uh, a teeny weeny Morrison's. Petrol station for you. Amenities for essentials, so. yes, yeah. So it's been fun yep. back to the real life now. Oh, back to hectic schedule. It's three months until we go to Florida, so there'll yeah. be obviously a break in the vlogs, yeah, until then. But well, they will be back. Maybe we'll do another live at some point. You've got to get me in, in the same, we've got to get us in the same room at the same time, though. Yeah, it's quite difficult. That is moment. quite difficult. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And we will see you soon. We appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. Makes all the difference. And give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. Bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? And we also have some playlists. And here's one here. We'll see you there. Bye.